are now here at uh, Waterlight Toronto. Waterlight is in a way about um, the power and the poetry of living with uh, water, eh? sort of a, a virtual flood. 200 years ago this was flooded, this was uh, Lake uh, Ontario. So it relates to the history, um, but it also relates to the future, our rising sea level, the floods that we already had experienced in Toronto. But right now, for three nights, it's a place of wonder. The biggest challenge in Toronto is that the city has grown exponentially in the last 50 years. When we have extreme rain, water falls on concrete. It doesn't have any pervious space to go or seep into the ground. The problem starts with the capacity of this infrastructure, because this infrastructure is as old as the city is, and it does not have the capacity to take on so much water in such a short period of time. So what happens is there are blockages, there is lack of infiltration capacity, and there's lack of drainage. And with that, we see water backup. And that's how you see a lot of roads and railway lines within the city and homes all flooded. The setting of the bentway is really awesome because you have this sort of raw concrete pillars and then the light sort of breaking through it. So it, 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 it's turning into a cathedral. And that is, uh, that's really beautiful to see. And it creates a sense of uh, place. Suddenly we have thousands of people hanging out uh, being, being mesmerized, uh, wonder how they want their future to look like. Our major challenge is that our weather is becoming more extreme and more unpredictable. And that's across the globe, not just for Toronto. My country, most of it is below sea level. So without technology, without design, we would yeah, d drown, we would die. So we've always been fighting, but also living with nature. So for me, Trying to find this balance between nature and technology is very normal because my whole country is man-made. Well, the reality is that climate change is happening. There is evidence that climate change is happening, so it's beyond our control. What's in our control is how we can create capacity to cope within the system and build more resiliency within the system. So I think innovation has to be at the front and center of those strategies. I think we all know the numbers, um, but numbers won't change us. Imagination will. Sometimes environmental messages are so complex, they don't reach people. In order to address climate change, these solutions have to be transformative. And transformation requires a lot of collaboration and a lot of innovation. I think we should work towards a society where we live and work with nature instead of against it. And so Waterlight is for me about that. Nature, technology, people and landscape trying to find a new harmony, a new sense of uh, balance again. So I think our water sector has been at the forefront. There's a lot of companies who are innovating right now to find solutions and we need to do more of it. We need to support them. We need to apply those technologies and bring everybody together to find the right solutions. And to sort of bring back the water in places like Toronto as a Dutch artist, it's sort of very interesting. Uh, it's part of our DNA. It's part of uh, yeah, our, our life, our lifestyle. Um, and it will be part of the life of a lot of Toronto people as well.